to Grounded. Episode 3. Uh, today's episode we are going to be heading out and getting this uh, device fixed with the lasers pointing at it. So we gotta go over and get rid of the mites off of the wires. And then our main goal for the day is to get over to the oak tree and get uh, the ability to make floors. Uh, so in this episode, that's what we are going to be doing. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, mic was off when I was recording, so I did not get any audio from the the gameplay, but it uh, does have the game audio. But I am doing voiceover for some parts of it, uh, mostly just the intro, and will be for the outro. Outro. outro how, how, yeah, and... <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Right up ahead, the goblin of the backyard. You know what they say, a foolish complaints. It's a hot goblin and little nuts. Tremor detected. Something's afoot. Yeah. Yeah. Scabby. Additional flavor scheme available. One long schnoz built for sleep. <laughs> Thank you. 
Be safe? Mm, safe fur. My bad?
filming that. One long schnoz built for sniffing. Those look like idealized geometric shapes in that pink thing. They can't be real. I could use a hand here! Where are you hurt? for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. 
One success after another! I have returned Burgle to his original size! It appears that my new raw science containment field is working at 99% effectiveness. 98.5%. Right, Burgle, right. However, as Burgle indicates, there is some minor insignificant raw science leakage. A note for another time. Noted. But I see no reason to put off a human trial. I believe there should be no issues, but al dente's fortuna what? I am ready to prove my creation's full potential. Science. End recording. Burgle, I'd like to record some messages for my family in case things do not go as planned. miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? You are here, in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform, patent bending. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea! Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Processing! Memory fault. Code 408B3000. Ominent OS script runtime error. Arg. I am sorry again. It appears I have sustained more damage to my memory chips than expected. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. If you find these, I should be able to help you learn new survival recipes. Super chips are special, and they are gold. 
They back up full directories of my memory system. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. I can upload their locations to your scabby. Processing. Processing. Error. Files not found. Code 632C404. Cheese and fries. The lab locations are missing from my memory banks too, but we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities, the Hedge Lab. The Hedge Lab is the observation center of the yard and used for research on arachnid webbing. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the Hedge Lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> that reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with biometric scanners. You will need access for any chance of success. Head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biometric scanner near it. Give it a moment to sync your signature into the mainframe. Once you are registered, you will be granted access to the ASL network of computers, too. ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments that Wendell conducted when he was first exploring the yard. Log on to the ASL terminal over there and see what is available. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get started finding those chips. And try not to die out there. Have an exponentially great day! to process that. Holding raw science in my hands. What does it even mean?
This morning, I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here, the Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Ominent's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time, but they will do for now. Okay, well, this is where we're going to be leaving off in a couple seconds here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Heather, for continued support. I really appreciate it. Um, my channel needs needs the help, and I really appreciate you sticking with me. And thank you, everybody, for considering becoming members uh, or be doing super thanks. Uh, would help greatly to maintain my channel. Uh, thank you for being subscribers and hitting that like button. Have a great rest of your day.